hello. Welcome back to The Metal Hunter. My name is Luke. Uh, I'm back with another Throwback Thursday reaction where I react to songs that I already know. Um, I generally don't like to react to songs that I already know, but I thought that this is just an, an extra bit of content and people seem to have, like the, the Coal Chamber video that I did. Um, a good friend of mine, Tim, uh, who is one of the most knowledgeable horror freaks out there, uh, has recommended for me to do Eagles Become Vultures by Converge. Now, for those of you who haven't picked up this yet, uh, I'm a huge Converge fan. I've got the You Fail Me poster back there. I've got the Jane Doe tattoo on my arm. Uh, I own multiple copies of You Fail Me. Uh, Eagles Become Vultures was the first Converge track that I ever heard. Um, I was watching uh, Channel V, of all things, and uh, the guys from The Used, uh, more specifically Jeff, their bass player, I was on there uh, choosing some songs that he enjoyed um, and he was like, you need to check this band out. They're called Converge. This track's called uh, Eagles Become Vultures and it has the most sinister breakdown of all time. And he wasn't wrong. Man, it fucking changed my whole perspective of metallic hardcore. Um, I'd really avoided Converge a lot um, because I thought that they were just like a trendy hardcore band. Um, and a lot of people do think that, um, but then all the, also at the same time, when you actually listen to, to Converge, they are, they're not a, a super palatable band. They're not an easy listen. They are very, um, disjointed with their riffage. Uh, Jacob Bannon's voice is, uh, very, very difficult to listen to for a lot of people who maybe don't listen to that style of hardcore or that style of metal. Um, often when people are like, oh, you know, I'd really love to get into Converge, but I just can't get past Jacob's voice. That, that, I, I mean, I understand that, but also at the same time, Jacob's, Jacob's voice is a part of the reason that I really love them. Okay, so now that I've ranted a little bit about Converge um, and how much I love them, uh, I just want to do a bit of a bit of housekeeping, as I always do. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you smash that subscribe button. Uh, jump over to my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at The Metal Hunter. Uh, that's where I post most of my collection and things like that, um, and I'm going to be uh, posting a lot more and doing some live sessions on there as well. Um, now... I I understand that it's kind of weird watching someone watch a video that they've already seen before and reacting to it. Um, so I guess this was just my excuse to be able to talk about Converge. They're, they're up in my top five bands of all time. They are absolutely fucking fantastic. I own almost everything that they've ever released. Uh, I've only seen them once um, and I cried. <laughs> I cried when I saw them. Uh, here's a little photo of the back of my head watching them and... If you could take a photo of the front of my face, it would have just been like, because <laughs> uh, it was such an emotional experience for me. Here we go. Converge, Eagles Become Vultures, which came out on You Fail Me in 2004 on Epitaph Records slash Death Wish Records, which is Jacob Bannon's uh, label. You didn't know. Nice little fun fact there. Eagles. Gotta turn this one right up. And I haven't seen this video in fucking ages. got such a like 2000s hardcore like tone to it as well. This dude kind of looks like if someone tried to like draw Keanu Reeves from memory. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> 
everyone can relate from feeling like that at work. Oh man, just as fucking ruinous as I remember it. Tim, thank you very much for making me uh, watch that video again, which I haven't, I mean, I'm sure that it's come up at some point on YouTube and I've probably moshed in my lounge room. Um, so really when, when that song came on for the first time, I was like, oh, this is kind of weird. It's like a punk kind of like, like hard rock kind of riff and like, especially the way that the, the, kind of, the drums kind of sit behind the riff. Uh, but once that once that fucking breakdown comes, it came in. It was the most ruinous thing I'd ever heard. I was like, okay, this changes everything for me when it comes to metallic hardcore. Um, at the time, I was listening to bands like uh, Killswitch Engage and Shadows Fall, um, and God forbid. And I was very much into the new wave of American heavy metal, which I still am. Um, but these guys kind of opened up a whole world for bands like um, Cursed and Botch. And fucking, you know, it made me fall in love with Every Time I Die even more because it made me understand where Every Time I Die was coming from. I think that there's so many people out there, as I said, that find Jacob Bannon to be, I guess his vocals can come off as pretty obnoxious, but I think that it just adds a layer to the the, the pure insanity of what Converge are. Um, as I said, Converge are one of my favourite bands uh, and for for a very, very good reason. Um, when it comes to the lyrical content of Converge, uh, Jacob Bannon has some of the best uh, lyrics when it comes to any band ever. So the lyrical content on this on this song is no different to any other uh, Converge song. It's just really on point. Uh, In new day dreams, a promise gives way to a star-struck death and a gold disease, a Hollywood end for once great man who found death on his knees, cashed in, crashed and burned, sore, sour, sore. Our eagles become our vultures. I've searched with pen and paper. I mean, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit esoteric, um, but I really, uh, I really feel it deep within my bones. Uh, man, such a good lyricist, such a good fucking vocalist, such a good label runner. Uh, if you don't know about his label, he runs Deathwish uh, Records, which have got bands like uh, Code Orange and Trap Them were on that that label at some point. Uh, also, you've got Harm's Way, fucking so many, so many bands uh, that were fantastic or are fantastic off that label. Man, I actually just want to finish this video so I can go and listen to more Converge. Uh, thank you very much for the recommendation or the, the request for this one, Tim. Um, if you've got something that you want me to react to that you think that I, I might already know, maybe some typo negative or something like that, or bands that I've, I've spoken about in length, uh, I'd really love to hear from you guys. I'd like to do this uh, once a week on the Thursday. Uh, I missed last week because I had some other bullshit going on. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that I, I'm getting into this one. I'd really love to hear from you guys about where you're from and uh, why you love or hate Converge. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'd really love to, to hear from you guys. Uh, as I said before, I am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so make sure that you subscribe for me. Uh, make sure that you follow me on social media, on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter, at The Metal Hunter. Uh, and yeah, I've got so many more videos coming for you guys. I've got like hundreds of ideas, so I can't wait to bring it all to you. Look, I've been Luke, The Metal Hunter. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.